Welcome back to art everybody and I'm pretty happy today because I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own jelly plate. I love jelly printing, I love teaching it and I really don't know many students who don't enjoy it as well. So it's a great thing to do with kids and a great thing to do with adults. Now three years ago I couldn't locate a reasonably priced jelly plate in Hong Kong so I scoured the internet watched a bunch of tutorials and kind of put my own recipe together. You can see this plate is slightly discolored because it's three years old, but it's still good to go. I would melt this down right now because it's got a little, few little chicks in it. When I melt it down, I strain it through a tea strainer to get rid of a lot of those paint bits. But when you first make a jelly plate, look how amazing it is very sort of yellowy clear. Now depending on the quality of your gelatin, depends on what sort of clarity I guess the plate will have. So you need gelatin, glycerin, pure alcohol, water, I have a double boiler and or you can have a microwave. Let's watch the video. Take a screenshot of the ingredients and the instructions. Most of these ingredients can be sourced locally. Place your gelatin into a bowl and mix with a cup of cold water or room temperature water. Stir it up and leave it for five minutes. Add three quarters of a cup of alcohol followed by 200 grams of glycerin. You're going to stir all of this together before you place it onto a double boiler or a saucepan with boiling water or place in the microwave for 45 second intervals. Stir regularly. The mixture has melted and turned clear, pop it in a container and then put it in the fridge for at least two hours. It is better if it's overnight. Are you ready to start? I can't wait for you to experience this too. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> 